Parents are frustrated and worried about their kids falling behind with remote learning. Today, a group of Republicans pushed for schools to reopen full time for kids to learn in person. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Highland, is live in Raleigh. And Michael, Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest says the kids and teachers should not be required to wear a mask. Right. I asked him about it as today he was calling for schools like this one to reopen. He also said if he's elected governor, he would lift the state requirement for people to wear a mask, even as the CDC again today urged people to wear them. And I'll see when you join and we'll get started. Amid the struggles of remote learning, some parents say it needs to end. Remote learning has been detrimental to the well-being of our kids, especially the special needs population who have been um, ignored in this pandemic. Republican Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest called for schools to reopen for in-person classes full time. He's running against Democratic Governor Roy Cooper. Cooper has allowed schools to operate at a minimum of what's known as Plan B, which is a combination of in-person and remote learning. They can allow the parents to decide what's best for their kids. And if they don't want them in school, they can keep them home. That's a, that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. And parents have that choice now, and they always have had that choice. Should kids or teachers have to wear masks in schools? Uh, I don't think so, no. I don't think that there's uh, any science that backs that up. The head of the CDC, Dr. Robert Redfield, said this Wednesday. They are our best defense. I might even go so far as to say that this face mask is more guaranteed to protect me against COVID than when I take a COVID vaccine. I asked Forrest how he would open schools safely. You really don't need a plan. You can follow people that are doing this all over the world and have done it safely, and these schools can uh, find ways to open safely and get the kids back in the classroom. We don't believe that as governor, we should be laying out what the standards would be for kids to back in school. Our, our governor didn't lay out any standards. He laid out a plan A, B, and C, and he threw it down to the counties. To A spokesperson for Governor Cooper said it's stunning that these elected leaders want to fill up our classrooms today without a safety plan, take away the statewide mask requirement, and put our children at risk all to try to make a political splash. He went on to say everyone wants to kid get kids back into school, but it has to be done safely. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.